The big new feature for IntelliJ IDEA 2018.1 in terms of version control is the support for partial git commits. This lets you commit a selection of lines in a source file rather than the whole file. There are a number of ways to do this. Firstly, you can select changes from the commit dialog. In the diff view here, you can see all of the changes to a file and you can uncheck any changes you do not want to commit. If you tick the checkbox next to the file name, all lines will be selected again and you can unselect all the lines by unticking the file. When you do select just some lines in the file and do a partial commit, the file is still in the local changes view and the code you did not commit is still there and shown as an edit. As well as simply selecting code for commit, you can also move bits of code to specific change lists, making it easier to keep track of what each of the changes are. Right-clicking on a change brings up the context menu, which includes the option Move to another change list, which will assign this snippet to the selected change list. The gutter will also show you which change list the code belongs to. You can move code snippets to another change list by clicking on the change marker in the gutter or add it to a new change list. Here you can see the local changes tab shows the same file in two different change lists since the two code fragments are assigned to two different lists. You can of course move these changes between change lists in this view too. IntelliJ IDEA 2018.1 also has a number of improvements to help you view and navigate changes. For example, if a revision has a commit message which contains the ID of another revision, you'll see the ID is shown as a link, and you can click on it to navigate to the revision that it refers to. Also, the Show History for Revision tab has been updated, so it looks more like the standard File Revision History tab, and its performance has been improved too. The Local Changes tab has been improved too. Now you can group your changes to make them easier to see and understand. You can group by directory, by IntelliJ IDEA module, and by repository. You can also group by all three things, or any combination of them. Another improvement to the commit dialog is that if you press Ctrl, Alt and K on Windows, or Command, Alt and K on the Mac, you will commit and push your changes in a single action. This means fewer key presses or mouse movements to make sure your remote repository is up to date. IntelliJ IDEA 2018.1 also makes rebasing a simpler activity. If you've started rebasing a branch and are perhaps in the process of fixing up conflicts or making changes, sometimes you just need visibility of this and also an easy way to continue. Now, the branches menu not only shows you which branch you're rebasing and in which repository, but also gives you menu items to let you abort or continue the rebase, or skip the current commit. Finally, another simplification is that the clone repository dialogues for Git and GitHub have been merged into one simpler dialog, so it's easier to know where to find this feature and how to use it. You can see there are a lot of great improvements in IntelliJ IDEA 2018.1 to help you work more effectively with version control systems. Thanks for watching.